Uh, well, I, I'm happy that this conference comes together and uh, my experience in multilateral conferences is that they offer an opportunity for leaders to discuss in the fringe, in the, in the margins of these conferences, many issues which are highly high on their agenda. There will be a G7 meeting tomorrow afternoon uh, in uh, my residence here in The Hague, in the Katshuis, and uh, there will be other discussions going on. They are not interfering with the schedule of the Nuclear Security Summit because in the setup of the summit, we already envisaged that leaders would make use of the fact that they were together, that they were brought together here in The Hague to discuss issues. And this will not only be on the Ukraine, uh, obviously uh, leaders will make use of this summit to uh, discuss many other issues. And uh, this is what I do when I visit NATO summits or OVSE summits. It's always a fantastic opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with many colleagues and discuss uh, cultural, political, and economic uh, issues. But Jeff is scheduled to be here. Uh, he told me last year in St. Petersburg, when I met him in the, during a lunch uh, at the St. Petersburg Economic Forum, International Economic Forum, that it was highly unlikely that he would personally attend the NSS. And when I met him again in Sochi at the start of the Winter Olympics, uh, he told me that uh, he was not personally attending and that the, probably the foreign minister or some other high official, and it has transpired that it is the foreign, the, the, the foreign minister, Mr. Lavrov, would attend, as also other countries do not uh, send uh, the heads of states or government, uh, but are represented here at the level of the vice president or the foreign minister. 